Roblox games may be removed in the Bugatti, and here is why. Some of you may remember a video I uploaded on my main channel around a month ago talking about the Driving Empire drama. Essentially, Driving Empire added loot boxes, and uh, this was a, quite a controversial update to a lot of players. As a result, players of the game in the community decided to go ahead and contact the real-life car brands and basically try and get the vehicles taken out of the game. However, as a result of this, vehicle brands such as Koenigsegg have uh, removed their car from all of Roblox. Essentially, if you have a Koenigsegg in your game, uh, you will be asked to take it down. Heading over to Twitter, as you can see, I was notified of all of these tweets. If we scroll down here, you can see I don't actually own a Bugatti inside of uh, Driving Empire. However, this is a, as close as proof we can get. Uh, lots and lots of tweets regarding this. So I'm, I'm pretty sure this is uh, not fake news. You can see here in this screenshot, vehicle removal notice. So all of these different Bugattis, this was the one we were just driving a moment ago, but uh, all of these different types of Bugattis that they owned have been removed and uh, any player owning these Bugattis have been compensated for their losses. And you can see lots and lots of people have been talking about this here. Um, you can see Lamborghinis were removed. Uh, that was late 2022, so before this whole Driving Empire drama. However, Koenigsegg was last month and now Bugatti, it seems. Now, it's honestly quite early on in this uh, whole situation. I only started seeing these screenshots pop up a, a couple of hours ago. So I'm not exactly sure if this takedown request will kind of copy over to other games such as EOC or Greenville. For the moment, all we really know is Driving Empire have taken out Bugattis from their game, compensated players, and from the looks of it, no other game has done anything about it yet. Now I wanted to talk about this. There is a couple of different ways a brand can almost copyright or file for a, a DMCA takedown on Roblox, essentially wanting their content removed. Uh, now, some brands such as Lamborghini last year, it was late 2022, they pretty much wanted nothing uh, looking like their car. So if your car looked like a Lamborghini, if it used the Lamborghini branding, logo, uh, text, then it would have to be removed. However, sometimes car brands are fine with you using their car models. So if your vehicle looks like a uh, Tesla, for example, or it looks like a Ferrari, that's fine. However, they don't want you using the exact name or logo. And that's what games such as EOC and Greenville have teamed up. And they've created these uh, fictional brandings, names and logos. So essentially, this model here looks like a Bugatti. However, the name and uh, logo on the vehicle is not a one-to-one -one copy of Bugatti's. Now heading back to Driving Empire, this takedown request, or what we think at least is a takedown request as of right now, there's been no official statement, at least from what I've seen. Bugatti pretty much just removed any vehicle or issued a takedown request for any vehicle that looked like a Bugatti, that had the Bugatti name on it, anything like that. So all Bugattis have been removed from Driving Empire. And I do believe, Kurt, please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I do believe that uh, Driving Empire did also have fictional names for their vehicles. So if they had to remove them completely, whether they had fictional names and branding on the vehicles, that's not a great sign for other games such as Greenville and EOC, which uh, pretty much have the same setup for the vehicles. Will we be seeing Bugattis removed from games such as EOC and Greenville? Unfortunately, I think so, but it is honestly quite early in this situation to tell. And we're not even sure if any other games apart from Driving Empire have received a uh, similar takedown request from Bugatti. So honestly, it's quite early on in this situation, but I'll keep you up to date. It, it would be so unfortunate to see the Bugatti go from EOC. It's been such an iconic car in the game, been here for years now. But let me know your thoughts about this all in the comments below. I would love to hear them. And at the moment, we're just going to have to really hope for the best. Maybe this was just something Driving Empire devs decided on their own. Maybe this wasn't a takedown request. It would be quite a strange situation, but who knows really? Who knows? It's early times. So anyways, thank you very much for watching this video. Hope this kept you informed and up to date. Uh, if you did enjoy, make sure to subscribe to this channel. And I'll keep you up to date on more news and information regarding these changes. And hopefully nothing is to come about it.